They want us to think that we're an insignificant speck of dust, but let me tell you, we are so much more than dust in the wind. At least 4 billion useless eaters will be eliminated by the year 2050. I'm still waiting for somebody to show me gas pressure without a container. I personally don't believe anything they say, right down to the god they claim they worship. None of the math adds up. You could stack up all their math books, all their science books, and even put all their degrees stacked up on top of that, and you still wouldn't be high enough to see the curvature. This, 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 this is exactly why grounding is so important. too far. We're just regular people who know we're being lied to, we're tired of it. The bottom line is, there's only one choice left, and that's to dismantle this whole thing from the, from top, the top down. down. What's up, dudes? Yo. Yo, what up, man? gentlemen. Happy Father's, Happy Father's Day. Day. Oh, I beat you too. Happy Father's Day, dudes. Oh, <laughs> a glorious day. Yes. Oh, I feel like it, from our dads to us. I don't have kids, so I don't know, but I feel like it differs a little from Mother's Day. Like Mother's Day, it's like today is all about you. You're the mom. Father's Day is like, hey, take your kids and do some shit. <laughs> like spend some time <laughs> with your kids, man. Right. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong. It really yeah. is. I know. We do. We do the same thing on Father's Day and Mother's Day. We we uh we hang out with the kids. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. You know it's it's like mean. every other day. That's it's, it's every other day, right? Every day. If you're is. lucky, just, you get to mow the lawn. <laughs> that's that's, right. That's the go. highlight of Father's with like Day, new weed eater line or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but for real, you know, I know there's a lot of really amazing dads out in the community and. Uh, just want to say thank you to you all, and mm -hmm. we love you guys, and keep doing. Thanks for sticking doing. around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> In more than one way, you know. Not all of them do, guys. <laughs> they certainly don't. No. Uh -huh. So, uh, I I thought it would be a great idea. We 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 obviously got to talk about the debate that just happened. Dude, Bill, I did not know Professor Dave could get dumber. <laughs> 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 what the fuck, dude? That was horrible. It was really dude. Bad. I had to shut it off. I like I, I was like, okay, well, I, I know uh, what it's gonna say now. So Bill uh, the uh, entire thing. that dude. Every minute I haven't seen it at all. Yeah, I haven't seen any of it. I bet you I could guess what it's like. It's like, uh -uh, you're an idiot. I will say uh, this moderator what you're saying was doesn't much, make any sense. This moderator was much better at stopping him from being a complete asshole than the one was when he debated, oh, nice. when he debated right. I, uh Flat Earth Dave. Dave. That one was just yeah. him talking no, over him yeah. the entire time. There was some hiccups, yeah. but I think he did a better job than that one. Yeah. I'll give it, yeah, maybe, but, but then I wish, the would, thing, so. the wow, he, yeah. I wish he would have shut the hell up. Like, there was times when it was just like he was the one, inter he was like he was interviewing Austin. It was ridiculous. Yeah, because like, he has, he does the uh, same shit. Like, I have a bunch of questions because yeah, I'm just uh, hearing all this crazy information for the first time and you can't be right. <laughs> yeah, it was ridiculous a little bit. Like, you could tell he was kind of LARPing. Um, and the then moderator, he got the, he got the hint. yeah, then he, he got was the playing hint. So favorites like, or what? Hey, he was just showing no, his just... globe, he was showing his globe, and, oh, yeah, uh, and okay. like, yeah, and uh, you know, like, oh, Dave's I've seen Dave's because Dave's videos are everywhere, and he's got millions of views, and this is that, and <laughs> you know, Austin, we don't really know much about yours, and and you know, what about do I dare say it? The edge, do I dare talk about the edge? Because I know it's, it's just like, oh, like. <laughs> Like, like, like do, you shut fall up, off? do you fall off the edge or what happens there? He <laughs> didn't say that. He didn't go that far because, yeah, I think that would have gave Austin an out right there to rage quit. So we're just like a disc it. floating around in space. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm still uh, thoroughly impressed at Austin's ability to remain like completely composed while talking to these morons. <laughs> Dave was actually more composed than normal. How, okay, and I just want to oh, say this. Oh, God, right? that's crazy I just, to me. I just want to say it. I, I, I did laugh a couple of times because he's a dick. He is kind of funny sometimes. Like, 
I'm a dick. Like if he was I, 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 if he sure. was right about what he was saying, right? He did and he hilarious. wasn't actually yeah. right, and he was just making a joke, <laughs> not actually literally trying to belittle him, yeah. to lower him lower him down in the debate. You know what I mean? Like to bring him down to his level. That's what he was doing. You know what I mean? Like we all know that. But you know, if he was just like just a dick, and that's what he was. Like if he was the commentator, it'd probably be fucking funny. But. <laughs> I digress. You know what I mean? Overall, the dude still, he just fucking like spirals and he brought props. <laughs> he had like props. Yeah, awesome. He's <laughs> like the, he's like the carrot top of debate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little funny. Yeah. A little funny. He's got props. A bottle of salad yeah. dressing. He had yeah. a sweet yeah. globe with him. He had salad dressing. Yeah. What? Oh, For word like salad. He hopped like, on that. That's what everyone says now. Is, is wits? It's word salad. Oh, he got yeah, it. Yeah, because on they're that, too bro. fucking retarded. Super to original, dude. Super yeah. original. Wits, it got him. That's like that. your last line of defense is a word salad because you're just an idiot. Yep. So anyway, with that being said. We can get into some highlights. I think we're gonna, good idea. We're gonna get into it. Let's get into it. All right. Where yeah. do you want to start, Bill? Pull it up. Um, Dave's op- opening statement. I think that um, three minutes. We, we all know when to, Yeah, it's it's like a three minutes. Yeah. Um, it, it's just insta dick, right? <laughs> like <laughs> he doesn't even have to lead into it. So he's all he's already like starting shit. At the intro, let it roll. If there's if if we need more room on the screen, you know. Yep, there's that. Can we no, see I the slides? Yep, you got I it all. It. Yep. Okay. Okay. So Ready? I'm gonna shut up. I mean, I'll I'll keep it to. So we got 4:37 <laughs> okay. now on my clock. So at cool. Uh, well, just flip to 4:38. So go ahead. Okay. Live chat. So we're Fire. here to talk about flat Earth versus globe Earth. Austin is going to pretend to defend the flat Earth. He will do so with two tactics, which I will undermine right now. First, he will pretend that the default position is that it's just totally flat. Just observe and see how flat it is. So the uh, burden of proof is on the globies to prove it is a globe. Uh, no, that's false. All of observations uh, since antiquity uh, have uh, only make sense on a spherical Earth. All Looking at the sun, moon, stars only makes sense on a sphere. That's how we've known the Earth is a sphere for 2,500 years. Pause Furthermore, it real quick. Sorry, uh, sorry. if you deny a globe, yeah. no, no, go ahead. make any sense. Just in case we don't get it. to it. He says that, but later in the debate, he specifically says that geocentrism does a great job of tracking everything in the sky. So he's talking no. against himself already, but sorry, I had to point mm-hmm. that out. No, no, good, good job. Good, go ahead. Day, night, seasons, weather, tides, Coriolis. Geological phenomena like volcanoes, earthquakes, technology, communications, simple things like line of sight increasing with altitude, terrestrial motion, gravity. None of it makes sense if you deny that the Earth is a globe. Speaking of gravity in particular, I know that Austin will be very eager to talk about his electric gravity bullshit. Here are some reasons why that is stupid. He cannot drive 9.5 seconds squared. He cannot explain why this value is based on Earth's mass. He cannot explain why G varies precisely with Earth's radius and your altitude. Despite electromagnetism being both attractive and repulsive, he cannot make anything significantly massive fall up. And no, his little middle school science project with a piece of styrofoam doesn't count. He cannot explain why no discrepancy in there is no discrepancy in the motion of objects with differing properties, paramagnetic, diamagnetic, ferromagnetic. Cannot explain why there's no difference in activity over differing substances of different conductivities, grass, sand, water, concrete. He cannot explain why things fall at the same rate regardless of elevation. His electrostatic field dissipates with elevation until it disappears yet things still fall. So, Austin, this is the default position. This is the position that correlates with all observations and every nook and cranny of our knowledge about the physical world. If you would like to make a case for the contrary, feel free to do so and make sure to bring quantitative predictions. The second tactic he will use is because he knows the flat earth is so unbelievably indefensible, he will try to obfuscate by turning it into a discussion of geocentrism versus heliocentrism. He does this because he relies on using words valid about uh, esoteric topics in modern physics like relativity and certain experiments from the 19th and 20th centuries. Unfortunately, though, for him, geocentrism utilizes a spherical Earth. 
That's right, the Ptolemaic geocentric model that was used from antiquity until Copernicus uses a spherical Earth. So if he would like to change the topic of the debate completely from flat Earth versus round Earth to geocentrism versus heliocentrism, I'm willing to entertain that if he first admits that the Earth is a sphere and he has to mean it. If he is unable to make that concession, I will continually drag him back to very simple naked eye observations and basic logic that prove the Earth is a sphere without any understanding of physics whatsoever. Number one, the observations of the stars. In the northern hemisphere, the stars rotate counterclockwise. In the southern hemisphere, they rotate clockwise. This makes absolutely no sense on the pizza land. Why would the sky be rotating in opposite directions just depending on where you're standing? Also, why can't we all see the same stars? If you have a line of sight to a star, you should be able to see it. Uh, both of these make perfect sense on a rotating sphere. So you have two celestial poles, <laughs> and, the, and the Earth is rotating, and then we can't see through the Earth. That's why you can't see certain stars. So uh, in the north, can't see Southern Cross. In the south, can't see Polaris. Hilarious. Speaking of the Southern Cross, uh, <laughs> in order to get the pizza land, he has to take... Polaris has been viewed below the equator. Yes, it has. Just saying. Well, there's that, ob there's that observatory in yeah. Spain where you can see Polaris there. You can see all the stars trailing mm -hmm. around Polaris. You can see where they stop and start moving the other direction. And you can almost see whatever it is on the other side, Sigma Octantis or whatever, whatever they call it. And you mm -hmm. can see them almost both from the same position at the observatory. So how would that ever be possible on a spherical Earth? I'd love for Professor Dave to point that out to us. Yeah, that, nah. -uh. <laughs> nah, -uh. Okay, That's all you're well, going to get, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's all the Globies ever say. Yes. Where did that picture come from? Where, right. where did you get that picture? Mm-hmm. It's like, I don't know them. The, I think it's the Mead Observatory put the picture yep. out. I didn't put the picture out. <laughs> right, right. Yes, you and did. unwrap it to get the perimeter of the pizza. And that results in total absurdities like these three people all looking at the Southern Cross at the same time, despite looking at completely in completely different directions. That makes no sense at all. Again, on a sphere makes perfect sense where South actually means something, and they're all looking at the South Pole. Number two, day and that night, regions something. of illumination. This is very bad for the Flurfies because in the winter months, they need to take the sun all the way out to the periphery of the disc and that would result in most of the pizza being dark everywhere most of the time you of course, mean in reality like how the opposite is true the edge of second. antarctica in yeah, these winter months do, please do anyone who gardens or does anything at all like that or or just looks at the fucking sky once in a while knows right. that in our summer hey look the sun is above our head or even slightly north of us here in florida in our winter it's way south of us that's what we observe, and he's talking like it's nonsense. It's it's literally what we see every day. It's it's absurd. Sorry, go ahead. He's just straw manning. It's yeah, all he does. Setting it up. Yep. He's got he's got to get out ahead of it, Bill. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. almost I know. all the time. So how does the light get all the way over there? And then you don't even have to go all the way to Antarctica. You can go to Ushuaia, which is at the tip of South America, where people live. And that must be illuminated around 70% of the trajectory, while places like Point Barrow, Alaska, experience 24-hour night. In order to try to explain this, they have to make light do things that it doesn't do. And in fact, fight earthers do not ever he try totally to explain it. You can easily... You did make holders. it up, but it is repeatable. You uh, right. the, the first part was made up because he's assuming shit that isn't real but the second part if you have like a little dome on your desk or whatever and you shine light through it you can get it to make that kind of crescent shape where it curves around right, right. Yeah, well no, no, you know that, that wasn't a crescent shape that i was talking about that he made up did you look close it was the this, first one the, no the not squiggle? the first one that last one was like a i don't even know man that oh yeah what is that well what is his point of that <laughs> that's what the light would have to be like if yeah. it was right. a flat he's, earth he's, or again what? he's never ever you mentioned could replicate that or reflect or no, everything what i'm anything saying is he intentionally yes. made it not like a crescent <laughs> like it would need to be in real life right. he made it yes. like this ridiculous right. oh thing. yeah like a broke ass yin yang or something. Yes, just... he made it look stupid like on a purpose. Broke ass yin yang. <laughs> <laughs> looks like the Two, CC people on Spotify that can't see this right now. This Please go. Everybody no, needs to go watch the video no matter what. Everybody needs yeah. to watch the video no matter what. Okay. 
for sure. Um, don't take our word for it. This is just, you know, I mean, we're just doing our thing here and all that and expressing our opinions. However, oh, Bill's gone. Bill, he's uh, gone. Go watch. He's spiraling. Am I? Yeah, you're glitching out hard, man. <laughs> all right, keep going. No, you're I'll, good now. I'll cut out oh, and come back. Oh. You're I'm, good. Ca- I'm in? Yeah, you're, you're good in. now. You're, not, right, you're better than you were originally now. <laughs> you go all and you know what? Like, like None of us have been to the... Summer. None of us have been to Antarctica for 24 or for uh, over 12 months to be able to see this. But I have heard testimony from people who have been there, like people who do maintenance work for the government and stuff, who've, who've said that they've never seen, have been there over a year. Hour. Have never yeah, seen I've, a I, I've hour heard 18 sun. hours stops. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, there's right. always a section missing, always, which is totally explainable on a flat earth. Oh, on the video? Yeah. yeah. Jaren, Jaren ripped that thing up. Yeah. You can get light. You can get daylight, but you can't get the sun. There's a big difference between seeing the sun and right. having daylight. Yep, correct. And, and it still we, doesn't even prove anything, to be honest. Even if there was a twenty. What I would like to hear them explain is how, up here in the north, once it gets dark, like once the sun goes away, it's dark right away. In the south, that doesn't happen. It takes much longer. Or opposite, sorry. Up here, it takes a long time. It gets slow. In the summer. Yeah, in the summer and the winter, actually. Well, mostly in the summer because it's up here. In the winter, it lasts a little different. But in the summer, <coughs> it's like once you can't see the sun anymore, it's still light out for a long time after the right. sun's mm-hmm. gone. Right. Down there, I've been told in the that south, we, yeah. it, it gets dark immediately after you can't see the sun. In the summer. Yes. But I've been told in the winter, the twilight lasts a oh, lot longer Oh, yeah, because it's, it's down the there south. by them. Yes. Yeah. It's yes. the opposite. <laughs> Because now it's yes. down there by them. And that, to me... Yeah, but what you guys don't realize is that a light bulb hanging over our heads, it's never going to work. <laughs> so there's globe, right? Desk, so, desk just lamps get on out of your head right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, on top of all of all of that, they have been caught multiple times faking uh, 24-hour sun footage. Yeah. So mm-hmm. why would they do that? You know, just for for shits and giggles. It's mm-hmm. for the slideshow. Yeah, you know. Well, I can understand Education. the trolling aspect of it. Sun <laughs> 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 there, which completely obliterates out, flat Earth turtle. as flat Earthers themselves <laughs> admit, and that is why a rich person lately has been offering fully paid trips to the South Pole so that flat Earthers can see the 24-hour sun. A and rich all person? Huh? Who's this rich person? He speaks of Will Duffy, go. bro. Uh, once yes. again, on a global how do you get so rich? Sense. Day is when you're facing the sun. <laughs> Night is when you're facing away. Well, Pretty his, simple. His, his, uh, Number his three, Southern Hemisphere causes trouble. Logo For looks years, like a flat earthers have been symbol, pretending that so. there are no direct uh, flights in the Southern Hemisphere. This is wrong. There are many. Sydney to Santiago is one of them. And this goes both ways, nonstop, uh, uh, in both directions over the Pacific Ocean. And then we have the Antarctica Cup Ocean Race, which is a boat race that uh, circumnavigates Antarctica. They go all the way around every year. And neither of these things make an ounce of Notice sense. Notice how you skipped right over that, that yeah. right? Uh, for the flight, the Sydney to Santiago okay. takes this incredibly uh, enormous arced path instead of going the straight line path. And neither of which could be done in 12 hours anyway. And then the how boat race would have is. to go around the entire <laughs> world. <laughs> Always pointing, always steering away from Antarctica instead of towards it, which it doesn't do. So all of these observations are very extremely basic, intuitive ways to prove that the Earth isn't flat. Okay, Uh, these all obliterate the flat Earth. They prove without a doubt that the Earth is a sphere. Every single one of them does does this. Austin is unable to discuss any of these topics. He has no ability to explain any of these observations. <laughs> uh, on and so he will desperately try to pivot and turn this into a debate about geocentrism quiet, versus heliocentrism. Right. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the topic of the debate. If he wants to have that debate, that's totally fine. He must simply concede this debate that we're having now admit that the earth is a sphere <laughs> yeah, and then we yeah, can talk that. about that completely separate i would just topic, love to have a globe or earth moves or not. give us an answer to the the altitude that you would have to be at to observe discernible curvature i've, I've gotten that get a com- straight I got, answer from that I got, that, what? I got that comment last week they said twenty thousand feet bro <laughs> uh, right there. Yep. 
<laughs> I can see. What about you guys? Sure, <laughs> I guess we're done here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I that's well, I, that's that's my favorite question. It's like, all right, let's let's figure feet. it out. What what's the height? Where can you start to see it bend? Oh, should be no. easy. It should be. It should be dunk a, on us. Dunk on us and let us know. We'll send something up there if you can see oh, it. Well, I guess it's college here. live. I don't know if you've seen his little gifts that he makes where like the line goes like you know what I mean? Like that he is stone curvature from the you know from the, the, wind from... the plane. He has done so so actually, yeah. So I, I don't know, man. Even I mean, I, I, some people say you can see it from the ground level with those, uh, with the uh, um, yeah. if you, level if you or can, whatever that I don't even yeah, know. Oh, yeah, it's it's the the rocks <laughs> under the you, leg. When you yeah, heavily oh, compress know. the image, yeah, yes, yeah. Dude, put two pebbles under two of the legs to level the table. <laughs> so good, so oh, good, good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I love the water <laughs> bottle one too, where it's got the water <laughs> bottle. Uh huh. And <laughs> so now that's supposed to prove that the horizon's below your eye level. <laughs> oh, I love that one. <laughs> clearly drops. The horizon clearly drops from eye level. And it's like, dude. <laughs> Except it didn't on the Red Bull jump at all. But your water and bottle down there. Still shots, yeah, right? right? Still shots where angles of the camera could be tilted. You know what I mean? Like it, it changed. <laughs> and they're like, see, look, it's lower there if they're like holding the camera up slightly or something. It's just, it's hilarious, dude. It really, really is. Uh. So, and that's why we're here. <laughs> that is why we're here. All right. I, I think he's uh he basically wraps it up <laughs> there. And then Austin here, goes yeah. in his I mean, yeah, we could again go listen to it. Austin's just so like, you know, nice and he's you know, formal with it and all, and he goes through his his thing. We could watch it a little bit, and, but uh, and he gets interrupted like a thousand times. Yeah. <sighs> right, which is only gonna during his monologue. Up. No, not during his opening monologue. Not during his opening. Oh, no, 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 okay. No. I was gonna say but that's pretty when, messed up. Anytime he tries to explain anything of substance, he gets interrupted like over and over and over again. So Dave uh Dave thinks he has him on the stars, by the way. That's like his whole yeah. stick the entire time. Go back to the stars. Why can people see different, you know, stars going in different directions from different parts of the earth? Blah 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 blah. You know what I mean? So but at 19 minutes, he, he just go ahead. He 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 liked <laughs> He just says, I don't even know. What are you even talking about? Like, he just Dude, doesn't how understand. Does, how does the globe he's model him... explain that the, the stars look like a freaking perfect spirograph, you know? like Because the Earth is spinning and corkscrewing through space and time. True, yes. So... And it's so you know big, I mean? Rufus. There's it's so big. It's just right. so far away that there's no parallax. Mm -hmm. you just they never understand. change, yeah. It takes years trillions of years for the you, for the light to get here from the stars you can't really comprehend <laughs> like how big it is like massive. i can't they use massive massive remember mass massive mass. everything is just massive <laughs> all right we ready massive pile yes. of crap yes all right uh do yeah. you have a uh oh, how no. long i need to run or we'll just go oh uh, you'll yeah we'll just you'll you'll see it, it's all just right. There, it's basically get it like snippets of times with with Dave spiraling or like the host being retarded or, uh, yeah, you'll see. All right, let's go. Is that he mischaracterized my arguments regarding uh, throughout the debate? Hopefully, but yep, there you go. Okay, thank you for for the opener. Uh, I want to give you both. Um, what do you think? Like, uh, I assume there's one or two things that both of you have said or that strongly disagree with. You know, other. Do you want me to open it up to just? Give you both a, a five minute period for rebuttal. Um, no, I or think you we just want to leave it open. We can dig into it. Okay. Um, I like how he answers. Why don't, like he's the uh, only one what, what was the first about? particular well, topic maybe that Dave you want to talk, you want to poke around? Well, you know, Austin is denying this idea. He's he's insisting that the default position is the flat plane, empirically observably everything observable. Okay, so explain the observations from antiquity that I told you. What, what, antiquity. how are you getting he loves the, that the sky to rotate in opposite directions depending it's a on big where you're one standing? Let's start with there. How observable is that? How does that fit? Yeah, this, is, this is what always happens. Instead of providing evidence that the surface is curving, you're saying, well, but if it's no, not, no, then no, no, how no. does this happen? No curved Cut surface. Off already. You said the default position, yep. flat plane. Yep. I'm asking you on yeah. your flat plane. Explain the observations of the, of the celestial sphere. In the north, you get counterclockwise rotation. In the south, mm -hmm. you get clockwise rotation. Explain that to me on your 
on your default flat plane. Here Explain we go. It. Yeah, so the counterclockwise and clockwise direction is super simple. It's based on looking different directions. Your better question is why does it go around a singular point is no, what you're trying to say. No, no, no. I'm yeah. asking about the direction. I'm asking about the direction. It just looking opposite direction. directions would make them go the opposite directions. They all them, go east to west. Them? If you put a yeah, clock literally. on your ceiling, if you put a clock on your ceiling, which way can you face to make the hands go counterclockwise? Tell me yeah, which not way. An, you not analogous. The stars yeah. drop. No, it is, and, and it is though because the hands the stars, on a clock. What he did the there. Hands on a clock. You don't get it. Right? Yeah. You don't the get it. The stars drop due to perspective, so we're actually looking out towards them, not directly up. Which depends you know that? on your latitude, right? Depends on your latitude. If you're so at the you equator, agree? if you're at the equator, they're going from horizon to horizon. Wait, do you Maybe agree that if I'm looking, if I was looking out and something was spinning one way and then I looked at it from the other direction, it looked like it was spinning the opposite no, way? No, it yes wouldn't. No? It wouldn't. Okay, That's why so. I said, you just said, if I put a clock on the ceiling, right? Oh which God. way? Okay. I'm asking you, so. which way can, you just said, if something is spinning one way and you look a different way, it'll spin another way. So I'm asking yeah. you, put a clock a on the ceiling, clock which way can you, you can face that'll make the, the hands appear to go directions? Come. That would be more mm -hmm. accurate. Sure. Yeah, he's taken he's taken the whole uh, moon rotation in analogy and trying to map it onto star rotation, he's, which is that it's not the same shit. He's a demon. He he's a demon. There's <laughs> there's something in this dude, like just like FTFE, a big gay demon. Shout out next week's episode, but it's <laughs> he wants to like. Like, why do you feel the need to fight it like this? What is it within you that makes you want to attack it and be so mean against it? But anyway, go ahead. Well, I mean, he's got, he's got what, hours of video behind it, man. He's going to be very wrong, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. It, we, yeah, we get to a point there, too, where he gets, he gets nailed. He gets caught in, in real time. Oh, let's do it. About I, I want to see it. Yeah, or clockwise. You Which obviously way? don't comprehend what I'm saying. Dave, I think you don't understand thing, what I'm saying. Do you agree that things understand. that things will appear to drop due to perspective? Why are you talking about perspective? I'm talking because about you don't understand it. So no, you're if, trying to obfuscate. No, to I'm not. If the stars yeah. are above me, let me help on you. a plane, let and I look out. out, they're gonna look like they're dropping down, which look means I'm this, looking please. out. Oh, one. You don't even understand basic stuff, dude. Look at this. Hang on. Where's the camera? Which way is this turning? <laughs> which, no, way is this going? which way he is gets kind of nailed right here i don't know which do way mean? is it going yeah which way is it turning austin wasn't gonna fall for it uh, who cares what, what, mean, who what cares? is the why are you obfuscating away is it from going what i'm saying no it's, i'm not talking about exactly what it's going stop clockwise, clockwise for dave like, and it's counter for him for and us. clockwise for us yes and his buddy the host the buddy the host nails him on oh good thank you yeah why is it counterclockwise Come on, just give me the answer, buddy. You to, can see it. To you be fair, it. the the webcam is mirrored, so it might be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. I think so. So <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't see. What's no, the relevance? I see, it, I see it going counterclockwise. Yeah. What is the relevance? Yeah, yeah, that's how it. That's going Let, counterclockwise, right? Just with. say it, Austin. Just say it. It looks like that. Yes. It, yeah. Okay. I mean, so we keep clear. it turning. Do you think I don't under, understand the concept? Which, no, I'm showing you, and I'm showing all the viewers. Look, which way is this going now? We all get the concept. Going right. clockwise. So if you're standing yeah. up here and you look at the sky, you see it rotating counterclockwise. If you're down here, you see it rotating clockwise. So admit that this phenomenon makes perfect sense on a globe. And on a flat earth, it doesn't, which is he why just... you're rambling about perspective and all these other things. To no, try to... he, he just said it wrong. He just went against what he was saying. He just said clockwise and then counterclockwise, but he's claiming it doesn't change. Right. Got that, right? <laughs> That's why I said, y'all, in the very beginning, I'm like, y'all know what he's doing, right? Yeah. Now you see what he's doing. Mm -hmm. All right, go. Let's pretty see. wild. Pretty wild. He ain't stupid. No. But he, no. Yeah, but he definitely didn't solidify his stance on it by any means. Right. He just tried there to make it. There was no random. Blink, you incessantly interrupted me explaining it because you know you can't no, because actually you're allow trying to, to change the subject okay let me ask i'm you. not let me yeah. let me try this if this is okay can we st if austin talks long enough it's gonna maybe sound like he's changing the subject but he's got big ideas that need to get out and it takes right. longer than one no, minute yeah. to get these it's, concepts okay, out think of it this way if someone was like explain to me how an internal combustion engine works and you start <laughs> and you start by telling them, well, there's an explode. Why are you talking about explosions? I'm talking about an engine. Right, about That's an engine. what exactly. he's doing. Exactly. That's dead exactly nuts. What exactly doing. what he's doing. 
That is perfect. Start with let me because you guys are both super familiar with this. Let me let me toss out uh, let me like so people can dip a toe. One of the biggest um, <laughs> conversations that goes back and forth, both of you talked about this never, video, I, 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 is I, in a flat I've never earth. heard that before, by the way. Dave's video points out that there are some issues where, for example, the song. I wish somebody would say that in a presidential debate. Oh, <laughs> I, my God. So, just so people could dip a toe. Well, uh, hey, uh, if, if Trump said tippy top, you never know, man. Some, yeah, no shit. Happen. I don't know. Sun is coming around, right? And and we know because we live here that one area of the world oh, is in yeah. perpetual. Look at this guy. Tell me he's not debating. This would be yeah. uh, non congruent with the flat earth. Because we live here. So, uh, what what is the flat earth position? Uh, am I describing that fairly, Dave? I'm I'm over. Uh, sure. Okay, so flat earth hold on, hold on. Explain the region. Hey, that was my... hey, handler, am I doing a good job? Right, exactly. <laughs> am I describing <laughs> now, that good, Dave? Did I do it right? They have both successfully shut him up and never, never let him explain it. You know, you realize that. Yeah, like, how, how far we've gone now? He never got a chance. Yep. And there's a reason for that because they wanted to bring it back up and nail him again on it the same exact way later on. These two are in on it. Well, I'm you sorry. Don't, you don't get as many followers as that dude has out of nowhere. Right. So I don't know. I mean, I don't, I've never even heard I'm of him, but I'm just saying that they've they they got together before this. Yeah. Or dude is just straight up showing his allegiance to Dave Far Farina and that's that. Just like I think Nick that, Toon has I think nothing to be... do with the final experiment, right? But yet his fingerprints are right. All over it. So anyway, right. they, they this Sorry, dude just Death, goes off saying? doesn't shut up. Death was saying remember. something in his I'm awesome sorry. shirt. I wanted to hear it. Keep come remember. back to it, Death. Uh thirty two minutes. Defend the falsification of the globe. Oh, right. We also anybody just the quarter, if you wanna, guy, the quartering if you want to know quartering. yeah if you want to know a good representation of how this went just go look at robot polishers breakdown of it man it's hell yeah it's just him <laughs> cutting him off over and over again saying word salad word salad word salad yep. word salad word salad yep. like just <laughs> God, man yep. it's oh, I it, knew you were gonna pull so, that it's shit, so dude. good it's, it's old though and the, the word salad's old man. That just shows your ignorance and that you don't know what he's even talking about. Yeah, dude, I, I look for the word salad comments under Wits's post, and I'm like, oh, there's the retard. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, it's, it goes back to the combustion engine. If you start talking about a combustion engine, you're probably going to use some vocabulary that the layman doesn't know yeah, about. And exactly. just because mm -hmm. the layman doesn't know about it doesn't mean that it doesn't make any sense. Exactly. Yep. You get it. No, we don't need to. I mean, longer Skip. chunks of time are just mm. time for. We can go go to thirty two minutes now because he just. The, I'm at. I, just I'm there. For, oh, you know. he's already there. He said it. He's there. I'm there, baby. That's oh, the oh, the, bad. on the ball. Bobby. Quartering the dude. His name's the quartering because he looks like he's like a quarter Artie Lang, a quarter <laughs> Seth Rogen, oh, a quarter damn. Jonah Hill, and then <laughs> you, fucking something else. I don't know what the last better, quarter huh, is. Rufus? <laughs> yeah, Rufus, you are on the ball though. tonight. Or maybe it's half Artie Lang and then whatever other <laughs> yeah, fat. a touch a touch more Artie Lang. <laughs> For word salads, right? We need to have <laughs> right, defend that the Earth is a globe. Yeah. Yeah. And when you're done, I'll pass it to Austin and let him yeah. define that. Well, I mean, right? look, that's I'm what you're asking kidding. for, Austin, right? So I'm gonna do. That I want him here. to rebut the specific falsification of the globe, where we see things from hundreds of miles away that should be obstructed by literal miles of vertical yeah. curvature, okay, including one silhouettes. Pick you don't. one thing. Pick Those one thing like that. Okay, so that go. is the question. Okay, the question Dave, is, what? why do we see too far? And the answer is, we don't. Sorry, <laughs> they're all lies. Every time you do a picture like that, you're lying about the distance, you're lying about the elevation, uh, right? The, the altitude from which the picture is taken. Austin's you're just, wait, wait, a second. Wait, what is, wait, what is he saying? He's, we're picture? lying yeah, about... Back what it up. is he, he saying that he's lying, lying about everything that we're lying everything. about? Oh, how far right. it is that we're lying about the the yes. observer height, the that height we're, that we're from? All oh of my it. God. Yeah, he's all of saying it. it's not yeah. true. He's saying that the recorded observations aren't true because they don't work on the globe. So I'm just gonna say you're lying about them instead of actually addressing the data. That's what he's doing. Right. Yep. I, I think that's the douchebag fallacy. I'm not sure. I don't know what you call it. But... <laughs> that's just word salads. 
that's 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 and just that the earth is a globe so. and then when you're done i'll pass it to austin and let him yeah decide. Well, i mean right. look that's I'm what you're asking kidding. for austin right so i'm gonna do that. i want him to rebut the specific falsification of the globe where we see things from hundreds of miles away that should be obstructed by literal miles of vertical yeah. curvature okay, including one silhouettes pick, pick you one thing pick Those one thing like that okay so that go. is the question okay the question yeah, is, why do we see too far? And the answer is, we don't. Sorry, they're all lies. Every time you do a picture like that, you're lying about the distance. You're lying about the elevation, right? The, the altitude from which the picture is taken. You're just lying. Right? All of what these things. The, what is the you talk about? Is this a picture where it's like, oh, here's a mountain. That's They really just take pictures and like, look at this thing that's so far away. We shouldn't be able to see it. Or like, here's the Chicago sky. Yeah, that's what across happens. Across the lake. Where we shouldn't be able liar. to see it. Oh, but it's you're actually only lying. 10 miles or what? Distance. They're lying about various. Bro, th those were all, everyone I showed was from a professional photography website that has nothing to do with flat earth with oh. all of the information listed <laughs> awesome. your can model you, doesn't you claim that the distances are wrong that isn't you your model's one. answer no awesome. you guys just one. lie you guys just lie that's all it is you just lie about how far away things are and how high it's a high professional <laughs> photography website it has nothing <laughs> okay. to do with flat earth well, well, I, knuckle, man. I, so people can yeah. see what you guys are talking oh, about yeah, yeah. Show sure Sure. Anyone you want, as long yes, as Dave Bob. agrees that it looks good. You remember that one, right? Yeah. Share one that you think, um, <laughs> Austin, that you think. I'm trying to, you know, um, share one that you think um, supports your position, and then Dave can see Austin's face. Photo, or he can it's great, photo, dude. Photo. And while he's looking that up, I want to give everyone a chance. <laughs> to let you. It's like when they right say now. the. It's like when, when they I'm say the curvature calculator is wrong too, and it's like, dude, it's not a flat earth curvature calculator. It's the the curvature calculator. Real quick, damn it. On the right, and where the you see where the the chat scrolling, mm -hmm. yeah. Every time you see a big yellow box, that's a CIA agent. Just so you know, <laughs> someone who Super paid CIA. to comment to fucking <laughs> talk shit on flat Earth. Right. I was, I watched, I was watching. And I was like, dude, you paid eleven dollars to say some retarded bullshit like that. Oh, oh no, my God. It's the, it's what the about biggest boats over the horizon? It. Eleven bucks? What the fuck? The edge. Thirty nine dollars. The edge. The edge, man. Literally <laughs> the worst. I know. Club proof you've ever heard. Of. Hot dog Earth. All right. Yeah, we're about. What's oh, next? Uh, oh, by the way, no, it's coming. <laughs> You get, keep it going right from here because this oh. is when he gets Dave, Dave uh, basically outs himself for as a homosexual. Getting, uh, no, he did that. That already yet. happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, sorry. as, as get, uh, for getting special preference on the search results and everything, you get you got to check this out. Watch. Oh, good. oh, fuck yes. Mm -hmm. Linked in the description is at YouTube at Witsit and as well as Professor Dave. Um, also enjoyed your Terrence Howard video because I, I think he actually is legitimately insane, but that I don't know. But oh, the um, expected virality on that one, yeah, 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 that was all right, yeah. But uh, both guys create content. Um, one of one of the people in this room are banned from Twitter. I don't want to name names, but the um, otherwise you can We're find oh my Twitter God. or um, really, is yes. there somewhere somewhere else where you want people to look for your stuff other than nah. YouTube? interesting okay. YouTube. I One of these guys in the room is also propped up by all the algorithms. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I, don't I make popular content, it. man. I make popular content because it's funny. Wait, wait. You are prioritized by the algorithm. No, it's I'm priori the things that people like to watch are no. prioritized okay. by the algorithm. If I Google nobody with it, gets it, you, you guys come up. So few people are stupid <laughs> yeah. enough to fall for a no ladder, shit. so nobody watches you guys. Well, I make Dave, listen. Interesting. If I YouTube wits it gets it geocentrism. A literal stream I did. You pop up. Can you okay. explain to me why you're popping up when I search for me? Amen. Okay, right. let's not play let's games. Try it. Let's Listen, try it. yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, YouTube admitted in Congress they deprioritize flat Earth content because it's misinformation. So, what, what... Uh, yeah, I don't get it. I got if the Earth is flat, what's under it? Shorts. Yeah, that's Solar system what I got. from Earth's perspective. Of course, yeah. because it's heavily censored. It doesn't mean it's true, but we don't have to play this game that like I you're not propped up. Jeff video. recommends popular content, but I make very good informative educational content. <laughs> Look at that. What do you wait? Go down. Go down. Go. Uh, what do you have to do with okay. which it gets to geocentrism? What does the, what does your video have to do with it? They you just prove my point live for the whole entire audience. Maybe I Thank put the keyword geocentrism in there. I don't even remember what my keywords are. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You don't know you don't know what my keywords are. 
I know for a fact you did it. So anyway, I tested, I tested this because you're the number one propped up anti flat earth. It does it, it, dude. They admitted in Congress that they consider it misinformation, so they mm -hmm. deprioritize it and they prioritize the information, correcting the misinformation. So that would be you, according to them. So they prioritize you. If you look up anything flat earth related, you get Professor Dave. Okay. okay, we all know that that content blows the rest of your content out. Stop. That's why you got so many tens of millions yeah, of views. Just the, just the. Real uh, quick, no, pause so, it. Look, you, I have fifteen. So everybody knows. Just so everybody knows, why did he have to name it Flat Earth Debate? Who? Think about it. Which why person? could it be Shape of the Earth? The guy that made the video. Oh yeah, because it's why did couldn't it be a debate about the shape for of flat the Earth? Earth? Right, it's and what popular. happened? It's popping. What's going to happen when they go flat earth debate, press press or day, blah, blah, blah. What's going to happen when they go to do this? Now that the algorithms got it, they're going to go to Dave's highlights. Yeah. When he makes a highlight video, it's going to get hits. This will not get the hits. It may underneath it, but even so what happens now? It gets the what? The Wikipedia flat earth is a mm -hmm. archaic, uh, archaic uh, yeah. yeah, esoteric, blah, yeah. blah, blah. It's right there. It says flat earth is an archaic yeah. and yeah, there you go. artificially, yep, there you go. whatever. Already, I can't look, read it. It's already on there. There you go. See? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> wow. Tell me I'm. it's just a conspiracy, people. It Seriously. Is. Seriously. Well, I will say that, uh, what was it, 61% of the people who watched this said flat earth one oh yeah they 61 percent so they did and it reached how many people so far i can't see it's tiny on my screen because um, i got the other let me see open. i think it's up to like seventy thousand. Sixty-four thousand nine hundred. Okay. that's pretty damn good yeah, yeah. just it just just these, it's guys, it's these guys claim there so that means that like what 40 Forty thousand of them thought it was flat. These guys claim there aren't even forty thousand flat earthers <laughs> I in the know. world. Yeah, right. <laughs> so good. It's archaic. Bro. Oh man, these numbers are gonna <laughs> fuck them up soon, dude. All right, I got. Uh, what's next, Bill? <clears throat> I got. I'm gonna skip the this this one here. Uh, well, no. Let's see what I had. I had thirty six minutes. Go thirty six minutes. It's still about the world record photo, but there was something that happened. I thought that was dude, great. They just ignore I remember, them. I they just. Them fucking ignore them and even when it's infrared which which gets rid of refraction they still ignore it yep, it's, I know. it's ridiculous Tutor, do we really oh, want that's to talk right. about my education no bro i'm not even i, really I, I hope you i hope i like good luck brother i don't i'm not hitting on your success <laughs> i'm just <laughs> pointing out no, you definitely i'm are. literally not dude if you make 400 million dollars i don't care i, I wish I you would i don't care it doesn't matter all 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 i'm just pointing i'm just pointing out bro i'm just pointing out also, the objective Austin. fact that it's C-Park. Austin, I love you, but hold on. Now, here's a picture that Austin shared. Nobody denies that this picture exists. Austin, what does what do you say this is showing? Now, remember, yeah. I, I keep bringing it back because I, you know, people who are watching aren't as balls deep as you guys both are in the topic. Whoa. You know what I mean, sure. This is just a picture to me. How what, does he know that? What does what what does what does yeah, right. show? You measured. Okay. So this was the world <laughs> record at the time. It's been beaten now for the longest line of sight photograph ever taken. This is a mountain called Pic Pic Gaspard. Okay. okay, and it was so now on a globe. A if I look out, the Earth should be curving and blocking things in the distance, similar to how I can't look around a corner, right? Very like if I look, it's like looking at a hill. So if uh, based on but your height, taken at twelve thousand feet, though, right? Correct, right. So what you do is you sure. pull up Earth Curve Calculator, you put the observer height in, okay, and then you'll it'll tell you where the horizon will be, and it'll tell you how much it's of the target good. hidden height there is. Mm -hmm. So this is from the Earth Curve Calculator, official calculator, and if you look at it, the observer was 9,000 feet up. The target hidden height, oh, meaning sorry, how much yeah. Earth curvature should be there, is 16,000 feet, and the top of the tallest part of the mountain is only 12,000 feet. That means the top of that mountain should be 4,000 feet below Earth curvature. Okay. okay, and then Dave, so, what do you say to that? I two things. One, I cannot uh -oh. verify any of those numbers. Yeah, those are lying. Right? Right? The right. guy who took this note on number two, Dennis Book of World Records of is a liar. So those are two things yeah. that are not being verified. <laughs> so instead, let's talk about something purely conceptual and intuitive. Why can we see farther Why? with elevation? You're on the yeah. screen. He's gonna ignore it. Dude, oh, he... okay. <laughs> Hold up. He just he was like, "You're sharing the sh you're sharing the screen. Be careful." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, pull, don't pull up the private chat, bro. Did he right. say that? 
Uh, yeah, you go right. right yeah, bring it back. Oh, so I missed we're not it. Here. Yeah, here. sorry. Here, I was fucking now I remember it. why I put this down. Okay, I just forgot to make the note. <laughs> that that was that was one of why them. Why can we see? Host, oh, okay, I did. Host is clearly, careful. Host is clearly okay, showing his allegiance. Awesome. Okay, right. I was just saying this guy's just denying basic. <laughs> somebody is no, 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 I put my. So, did you did y'all hear it? Did y'all hear him say it? No, go back. No, roll it back. Roll it back. By any of those numbers, those could absolutely be fabricated by you. And number two, we're not doing any of the math. So those are two things that are not being verified. So instead, let's talk about something purely conceptual and intuitive. Why can we see farther with elevation? You're on the screen. You, dude, are you a moron? <laughs> this, guy is, awesome. okay. this, guy just, is, this guy's just denying basic I, somebody, math. I, somebody know, somebody who's I put my basic own home address on when I didn't realize it. So I was just telling uh, not, not, good, Yeah, I guess you could look. We heard it. <laughs> The, yes. the moment. He's yeah. like, hey, hey, you're sharing the screen. Uh... Yeah. Be careful. Be careful. Yeah, be careful. Be careful. Be careful of what? Child porn? Yeah. Or the... oh, was, he talk... what, was he talking to Austin or was he talking to... Oh, he's uh, talking to Dave. Was actually... Dave was controlling yeah. it at the time. Yep. Either way, I mean, how? yes, you're going to see further the higher up you are. Just imagine like laying down on, I don't even know, your couch or something and just like barely having your eyes above the the level of the couch and you can't see the whole couch but you stand up and all of a sudden you can see the whole couch it's wow super fucking because you're simple. higher than the couch take your it's phone, an angle of perspective take your phone to home depot go to the end aisle where there's nothing in the way put it on the ground and see how far you can see and then slowly pick it up and watch you can see further. <laughs> it's it, it's simple, no, and that is a level concrete slab. They don't pour well, slabs. The, curved. the Home Depot is on a globe, so <laughs> it would be always curving. Dude, I have poured there some giant no such ass concrete slabs in my life, and never did we account for curvature. They're like, was it a mile long? Well. It doesn't just kick in at one mile. It's not level, and then at one mile it goes. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's a hexagon. Okay, earth, just so I we're not we're it, not uh, making stuff up. It is, earth. it is Dave doing this, or is, it is Austin. I don't know. Maybe no, it is uh, no Austin. He was talking to Austin, and Austin said, "I know." Oh, okay. He's All right. I, and I he's retract like, that. I retract yeah. that. I thought it was the other way around. Sorry. And because Austin is a good person, he didn't. He doesn't give a shit about sharing his screen. Yeah, I don't right. care. I share mine. There's nothing on mine. All right, let's go. So, Hold on. I wanna, where I are we going see, next, Phil? Uh, no, I want to see yeah. this because he plugs it in, okay. and I want to see what Dave oh. says once he plugs the numbers in, mm -hmm. if he gets a chance to freaking ask him, if the host doesn't right. cut him off first. Right. Okay, let me finish the thing I was yeah, saying. Go ahead. Sorry, Dave. Go ahead. So <laughs> we can't verify any of these numbers. So instead, let's just talk about something very simple and intuitive. If we are uh, looking at something at the horizon, if we go up in elevation, we can see farther. That is not intuitive on a flat earth because that actually increases the distance to the horizon, right? If you're going up, now there's an, an additional distance, right? We get a high as he's it's talking, be longer he's than getting the leg destroyed there. But why can we see further with higher elevation? Yeah, Does that right. make any sense? Okay. That's insanely incorrect. Yeah, so like what the fuck? Your <laughs> angle of view. Okay, just the point. I did. Okay, go ahead. You within, just said within seven correct. seconds. It's it, Austin, he made a claim you're, you're that here, it doesn't make any sense. sense. If you go up. Before we get this good, I'm putting it out there in the universe. Austin Witsit will be on the phone booth podcast. Austin Witsit will be on the phone booth podcast. He has to out. because dude, he I needs never flat. realized. Ma, bro. Dude, I've heard him talk so many times, but for some reason in this one, I've never realized how funny he is. I don't know what it is. Like, yeah. Yeah. I thought maybe he was dry before, but no, nah, dude. <laughs> No, oh, dude, yeah, he's but hilarious. I, 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 if you watch any of his like earlier videos, he's like, he's hilarious, man. But he's, yeah, he's I mean, calmed down a little bit. We need to age. see him laugh more, so he needs to come yeah, here. We, no, we need to we'll make, make him sure. laugh. We'll make him laugh. We'll make him laugh. He right, needs sorry, a break. Sorry, go ahead. I need. No, to he's 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 actually when he's been coming into Flat Earth Fridays, he's been cutting up a good bit, and oh, yeah. uh, it's been okay, fun good. to fun to listen to. Good Flat Earth Fridays. We this miss you, mad. sacred and proud. Yeah, come back, please farther now right if you're here and you're looking at something here and you go up in elevation that thing is now further away from you so why can you see further with additional elevation because you're increasing your angle of view increasing your you didn't angle know that view, you can see 
What? You, the, well, how can you what? see a further distance? We're not talking about an angle. A further <laughs> distance. Ridiculous. Because further now distance. you are changing your angle of view, so you're increasing your angular resolution and the things that you can pick up in the distance. Also, the ground ramps further? up due to perspective. Dude, dude, ramps just imagine. Up. Just think. Just think about it simply. If I was on a on a flat floor and I laid my head down on the floor, as I start to stand up, I'm going to be able to see further along the floor exactly. because my angle of view increases this is again not exclusive to a globe earth and why are, and you deflect it away from the observation that refutes the globe again because i can't you verify did. any of these numbers or the map they're just what? lying about them. okay so if the numbers are correct then you can see it refutes the globe probably not no okay <laughs> then answer it as if because the these, these are not my numbers okay oh i don't know that God. home's gonna be able to go look it up it's it's a yeah. official photography professional photography website. I just want to let, let you guys both know, uh, at the start of the show, I did a poll. Just so <laughs> thir it's uh, with about 3,000 votes, it's 65% globe gang, 35% flat friend, which I thought I I'm going to run it again at the end because I thought, you know, this would be fun and a fun experience. Well, nobody's going to change their mind here. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I wish so you've watched the clip right now. Before, Dave. So the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not really. I just, In I mean, the, pause it real quick, death. Flat Earth, uh, you know. Nobody's going to change their mind. The after poll was like 61% flat Earth. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> You're right. What's the point of this then? If, if no one's gonna change their mind, aren't you? Isn't, yeah. isn't that the goal? Oh, he is says to change it. people's mind. Oh, he says. I think he says that somewhere in there. He's like, oh well, everybody gets their views, and we all go home or something like that. Wow. Somebody said something like that. Yeah, it oh, was. That's the goal, huh? For him, right? The views. Oh, please put it back uh, a little he, bit in case we missed it, because I want to clip that so bad. If he does uh, just that again, don't quote me no, on that. I know, I get it. You just listen to something. I understand, man. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to hold but, you to nothing. I'm just saying. If there's right. even a chance, I want it. He's there's somebody so, said something very so with that. about three thousand votes. It's sixty five percent globe gang, thirty five percent flat friend. Which I thought I, I'm going to run it again at the end because I thought you know this would be fun and a fun experience. Well, nobody's going to change their mind here. <laughs> that's, that's <pretty laughs> well, that's probably you're probably true. So you've watched online debates before, Dave. So the uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, uh, not really. I just I mean he brings his flat Earth, uh, you know people and i mean they're they impervious to facts and logic so they're not going to change says so the guy that's just ducking a picture <laughs> yeah, i'm ducking a picture because it's a picture right i'm talking about very simple physical concepts right i'm talking about observations that we can all agree on like the observation of the celestial sphere rotating counterclockwise versus clockwise that you cannot explain that only makes sense on a spherical earth that we used in ancient times to prove that the earth is a sphere. That's why sphere is the default position that you're trying to undermine by well, talking well, about. Hey, real, fat, real fast, can we show some yeah. intellectual honesty? I understand that you don't know these numbers, and fair enough, okay? Fair. If we you want to verify them. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I'm asking you, in good faith, mm -hmm. if the numbers were correct, which they are, what well, would be you your response? <laughs> you can say... If he, what, dude, correct. Interrupting it. Yeah, it's just it's an intellectually <laughs> question. honest question, and, and it's actually disingenuous to avoid addressing the evidence <laughs> just with the cop out that I can't verify the numbers you right know, now. It's actually really not because when you have an entire model that is all interconnected and all observable phenomena are explained by that model, one singular datum, like one photo, is not going to be powerful enough to undermine an entire Answer model. The if the numbers question, were true pussy. and if the math wasn't uh, fudged, of video, then I would of say, photos. okay. There's probably some kind of atmospheric effect or some kind of thing that I'm not on that I am not aware of that is making us see a little bit further. Maybe it's something that particular day. There's a, a particular humidity, or it's it's clearly over water that's going to increase. <laughs> Satan, we only got to see that for a minute. <laughs> it's like we only have to see that shit once, bro. If we see it once, it's fucking exactly. done. It Sorry, was there. it happened that's exactly. What they don't get. That's what they don't get. But whole pictures, or it didn't happen. That's what it Go comes to 44 down to. minutes. Go to 44 minutes. Let's see a little more host allegiance to Dave Farina. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> Bill, that. Good job on this, by the way, that breakdown. Thanks, man. <laughs> on yeah, Father's sure, Day, man. too. Respect, man. I know. I, I was out there in the sun. The girls are in the pool, and they're like, come on in. I'm just like, I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost, I, Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to pee in my And I'm out there, like, cussing to the phone week. and stuff, and people are looking at me. And I'm like, Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Say I don't want to take my shirt off. 
Oh yeah, that all yeah. That'll oh, happen. bro, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's Bad cool, vibes, man. I, I, dude. Hey, no, <laughs> you... <laughs> no, good vibe. Giving you an excuse, man. <laughs> all right, we ready? Yep. <laughs> Show that, that allegiance as a uh, normie. Is the is the is the contention between the glo? What do they call do you, Dave? A globo a glober? I don't know. Uh, what is globe. the name? Oh, and, yeah. uh, oh, care. and then, oh, so the globe, the globe people and the flat people is the idea that's one of the things that I saw um, Austin talk about and you talk about was that essentially 5,000 years ago, there was a different North star. And the, and the question Steven. around whether or not the stars move, because that, that is actually paramount to the idea that the earth is rotating around the sun versus the earth being the center of the universe. So in can, um, Austin, I'm going to, I'll go to Austin, then I'll go to Dave. And then next time we'll start with Dave. Um, so in the flat earth model, do, is it that the stars, can you explain the stars thing to, to, to the layman in the flat earth model? Okay. Mind you, wait, wait we've already the done star it. thing. We've already done this. We're back at it again. Oh, right? this yeah. is when you said like, they brought it yeah, back up. Yes. Yep. yep. Who brought it up? The host, the host. is mm -hmm. acting like this was not already discussed and they've already been not fighting about this the entire time <laughs> back and forth. He brings it up this way. Go ahead. This and they they know they need to like really hammer in the, the star trail thing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Because it's oh, like sure. it's visually it, it's pretty gnarly but like right. and yeah, it's a, it's a hard concept it's to understand hard to, yes no no hard for sure explain so for sure like the question you just asked about the star moving or something else yeah i thought maybe i misunderstood job, correct me if i'm wrong i thought the the flatter um, <laughs> yeah, mindset was that the stars did not move is that not true sure am i wrong okay. about that okay, okay well or correct the me. claim yeah. there is a claim that the north star used to be a different star and it's a very vague, ambiguous claim based on like ar architecture. So there's no actual legitimate evidence verifying that. For all legitimately recorded history, we have Polaris. But there is something called a kinematic equivalence, which sure that sounds fancy, but it's not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Here comes the salad word, dressing. Word salad. Yep, it, word salad. So is it? What do the what does what is the flat Earth position on stocks? What he does. Do they move or do? What could he uh, does. He's trying to he, tell he, you what the. Mm. Yeah. He heard kinematic I, equivalence and he freaked the fuck whoa, out. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. No, because he, he had a list ahead of time Maybe. of if he brings these things up, shut him down. Exactly. And he right. said kinematic exactly. equivalence. And he's like, I got to jump in right now and shut him down. That And if the dude from the quartering is listening. Point. Sorry, go ahead, Bill. No, I would say if this dude's seeing it or or one of your little minions tell you about it, come on the show. Explain yourself on this. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I keep interrupting. Who's debating who here? That's yeah. all I'm saying. It seems like two against one to me. It and does. he still one. whooped ass. And, and ain't nothing wrong ass. with that. It's just that's what it wasn't what it was advertised. Exactly. Right. It, no, it, I anybody mean, because that's what it's going to be. But if, <laughs> if, that's, <laughs> if that's how it's advertised, if it, if you're advertising it as a uh, unbiased person right is gonna let i mean to, to be fair with, to, be. to be fair when the, free when and fair the flat election. earther is the moderator you know they get in there a little bit too sometimes you know well they call them on stuff sure. that is obviously not true i will say that jaron calls somebody on something yes. and then pulls up sauce <laughs> and says this is right. uh, You're not right. true but, that... but this dude isn't doing that i if he did that i would if he if he pulled up something and yes. said that's just not true, Austin, I'm, I'm gonna show you. Right, that's well, exactly. Because I don't think he knows that. what's true or not. I don't even think he knows what's he true. He doesn't, or not true. and I'm not. No, I, don't, I, don't, have, I don't think he wants to know. I yeah. think he's already siding with that, right with the status I quo. I don't know the dude, and it could be it could be totally random. But if you're looking at it through a how would someone ask if they were supposed to direct this in one way, he's checking all the boxes, man. That's all I'm right. saying. I'm not right. saying he yes. is, but if he is, he's doing a fine job at it. So right, or you don't, you don't, you could say, you could just say, well, say he's not trying to do it, but he certainly is. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Maybe yeah. he's not doing it on purpose, but because he can't shut the f up, right? <laughs> uh, effectively, it's the exact same thing. Yeah, right. 
But for so, real, that's that's already laying Seth Rogen right there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> go, go a little more because I have something I have to show you guys. That? And Rufus doesn't yeah, have much go. more time. So let's go a little more. Right. They move every day. That's called sidereal rotation. If you mean over time, there or does seem time. to be a, a slight uh, progression uh, of the stars. But what I'm trying to explain is that isn't okay. exclusive yeah, to the Earth moving or not moving, right? It's called kinematic equivalence which is what relativity is about, relative motion. It's like, oh, is the plane moving or am I moving? You can never tell. That's what the globe model says. So anything that moves in the sky would it could by default not prove that we were the ones moving according to the official globe model. That's the point I'm making. It's called a kinematic okay. equivalence. So the, whatever the stars are doing, because we can't go back thousands of years and verify if the North Star was different, whether it was or wasn't, it, it doesn't prove okay. the Earth is moving. So, Dave, <laughs> your response to that? Yeah, a couple things. Uh, number one, uh, the North Star became Polaris in like 600 CE or something. So Six thousand years well ago or something. Yeah. No, no, no. Way more recent than that. Uh, Polaris. Uh, I mean, it was Thuban in the times of the of the Egyptians. Came Polaris. So that's well documented. But furthermore, we don't need to do that. We can very uh, accurately observe Milankovitch cycles. We can see the precession of the rotational axis happens every year, it can be measured, and then there's parallax and all these other things. But that's not really what matters because, again, he's trying to do this thing where he doesn't have to, def where, 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 he, where he's pretending that geocentrism doesn't assume a spherical Earth. When the argument was going on uh, in the Renaissance, early Renaissance, about geocentrism and heliocentrism, we knew that the Earth was a sphere. On, so every time One he does second. this kinematic Sorry. equivalence thing. I was going to say, it, it, we'd already been past yeah, the point. Yeah, no, 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 but I need but, to point yeah. this out. I need to. Okay, go ahead. He's saying... Geocentric, geo, geocentrism assumes a spherical Earth. Even if that was true, which I don't think it is because nothing in it that I saw said anything about spherical Earth. It was about observations of celestial bodies, so you're not looking at the Earth. But even if it was, right. that doesn't mean that they didn't have that one single thing wrong because of a preconceived idea. So even if right. they thought it was a sphere and then observed it, it doesn't mm -hmm. make the observations wrong if it's a flat Earth. And he's totally avoiding that. God, I wish I could talk to these people and get them to shut up for two seconds and listen to me. Because I'm not a scientist. I'm not a smart dude. I'm a regular-ass person. And when I listen to this, I hear what they're, what they're bullshitting. They're ignoring right. the fact and they're going on the little outskirts of what someone's saying to try to totally mm -hmm. bypass it. And it pisses me off. And it's only the globe people who do that. Flat Earth people try to address it head on in regular words. Austin may be in his own little regular words, but right. they address it head on. They don't. The Globies don't do that. They don't do it. And it, it pisses me off. Even if I was on either side, it would piss me off. Sorry. It just Amen makes me that. angry. And the, so, what year did he say that the that Polaris was a different star? Six hundred CE, CE, whatever the hell that. You is. You know, I'm not really familiar with that, but I mean, when were the pyramids made? Because obviously, the ancients did observe the stars and paid very high amounts of attention to them to the point where they built their right. architecture to line up perfectly with the celestial mm -hmm. bodies. And it still does exactly to this day. So how are the stars moving if that if that happened? And like <laughs> it's because they're so far away that you can't tell, bro. Oh, okay. You just can't. You so just they can't so Polaris switched it, real quick and then they stopped moving I'm gonna, again. I'm Wait. gonna make a bottle that Hand I'm, I'm gonna take over Ken's and I'm gonna put Rufus's on that. <laughs> <laughs> salad dressing bro oh, yeah. that you, was like an you know i'm gonna do it now salad. i gotta write it down you know i'm gonna do it just to send to you in the text because it's gonna be funny <laughs> i like to oh. like that. Oh, well right, i know so i know next? so i love a good salad right. how much time you got rufus well we can uh, keep going a little is. bit yeah I just... you guys keep going i mean okay. all right, all right, all right. Out. um <laughs> So let's keep going on this, and then I'll show you. Rufus doesn't need okay. to know. I'll I'll send him the thing. It's just whenever hilarious. my wife comes down and yells at me that. <laughs> well, at forty nine minutes, we can that's why we, Rufus we is like, I'm gonna wear a red shirt tonight. So when she comes down and whips me, no one sees the blood stain. Nobody sees. They'll just think they're sweat marks. Really, my black, my back is bleeding. No. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. What's Joe Biden. Next, Bill? We got a little spiral right here. Uh, 40, what? 49? 49. We're, we're going to get start to see the spiral, a little bit of salad. Some I love up. watching this fucker spiral. 
It's it's a minor. It's a minor. Yeah, everything you, you didn't answer. That's fine. You didn't. You just started oh. talking about Star Trails again. So with everything going on in the quote unquote universe, you said universe wouldn't exist. No, maybe not as you've defined it, but with everything going on, all the quote unquote planets, everything moving around, the Earth's shape doesn't matter. You just project that relative does, to your though. projection. You create a transform relative to your projection you or your assumption of motion. Of the night Buddy, sky I let you finish. Here. Chill out. Okay. So yeah, let, the, let him finish. Let him finish, Dave. So the truth is that all observations have shown that the Earth is stationary. We have the cosmic microwave background, which showed anisotropic inhomogeneous distribution of energy, which is the exact opposite of the heliocentric prediction, and intersected on the Earth. The 23.4 degree axis was on a non local I observation. It. I knew the salad dressing was <laughs> <good. laughs> You're just using Here words. Goes. You're trying to pretend. <laughs> You're just cosmology. One hour, seven minutes. Let it go. Dave Farina, you're a fucking retard, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. One hour, seven minutes, yep. and ten seconds. Look this at that is face. crazy. Look man. at that face. Death <laughs> Farina retard. That's what I'm writing. <laughs> so I remember. Proves the Earth is flat. Then all cosmologists would be flat earthers. Do you have any Straw idea name you sound? <laughs> no, uh, you're pretending <laughs> to understand cosmology. No, you're pretending. What to did I say that was word salad, word. Dave? Huh? No, I'm saying it's word salad because it is word salad. Yeah, I, like the 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 I said that was word salad. We're talking about the shape of the earth. Mark it you're down, defending a flat earth, which mm -hmm. we figured out it isn't true in 2,500 years ago. And you're trying to you're we, trying to talk about modern yeah. cosmology to try to talk about this when you can't even explain naked eye observations of the stars in the sky. Okay, look, they're directly it. related. The idea is that the earth is a tilted, wobbling, spinning sphere that revolves around the sun. The alternative is that the earth is a geocentric, stationary plane. Both of no, those are directly related. Sphere, that is a stationary in sphere talk. was the alternative. Mm -hmm. Prior to heliocentri no, heliocentrism, dude. we knew we no. thought that it was a, a stationary sphere. Stop interrupting. Sphere. For, hold on, hold on. Prior, hold on, hold on. You keep hold on, going, hold on, you keep going off the rails. I got to bring you back to what we're talking about. Hold on, guys. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting some flack for yeah. allowing too much interruptions. All right. That's on me. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. going to help you feel passionate. 55. 59. 59? This time the host es escalates the spiral by oh, basically that. pandering to Dave that flat earth let is me, a grift. Come out. Hmm. Let me pose a question uh, to Dave. I, I watched a bunch of your videos today. Um, I, I actually really appreciate I can definitely tell you're a teacher because all of your PowerPoint slides give me PTSD back to my <laughs> college days i'm good with slides but, yeah i actually when i was getting my master's degree i saw a, a professor that used overhead projectors that he had like written in the 70s old school oh, yeah wow. yeah totally but, non <clears throat> i i heard the terminology around flat earth several times in your videos about about grifting right mm -hmm. um what is the uh, grift like what is the is it that like, what the is the grift, grift in saying that there's a flat earth. Can you can you kind of describe that? Because I, I don't see a lot of these flat earth guys being like, give me money. Like, well, so what is it's it? It's just a little cult and there's super chats and they do the conferences and all these things. That's all it is. Everything so this dude with said. Super right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We all agree right. Scientology is a huge grift, right? I hope we all agree that. Yeah. yeah. That's a grift. Yeah, dude, flat earth doesn't make you money, bro. I, I get demonetized all the time. I'm deprioritized. I, it's, it, it. I had to lose a six figure job offer because I had flat earth videos online. Okay. It is, if I was, if you were going to grift, why would you pick the thing that doesn't make money? Because you're like, it doesn't make a better sense. grift. If you, you could do you like, you could, uh, I've been thinking Billy Carson and some mm -hmm. of these guys on the, on the Rogan thing, that guy actually makes money lying about, uh, you know, archeology span and alien, ancient aliens and stuff like that. That would be a smarter grift. What? Okay. Um, anyway, no, I, but, but this is the problem. People are going to get so triggered that like Dave's not being forced to actually address his, his improper. Okay. Questions. Well, what is I'm it? just going to be real. I'm just gonna no, be no, real. he's right here. He's right. Okay. Hold on, Dave. All right. All right. Dude, what is it? You know, articulate the question that Dave has not answered. And then, all right. Dave, yeah. That's pretty know, much I'll, the clip I'll, I'll because I, I just wanted to point out how that whole thing was about making flat earth look like a grift and a shitty one. Yeah, it was, right. completely that was a bad day. Right. It was exactly. a really bad day. Right. And like it had nothing to do with what they were previously talking yeah, about. And the host Austin brought had it to up. bring it back. In. Right. Austin had to bring it back in. And he's like, oh, well, he's right here. Go ahead and ask him. Like, dude, he's so real. did you just get your point out about Flat Earth being a go, grift? Right. Later, Rufus. Later, Rufus. Right, love, you. love you. you guys. Happy Father's Day, Father's day bro. Yeah. But you see what I'm saying, right? Like, oh, yeah, for dude, sure. And I will say Austin is very good at bringing it back to the point. 
I'm, yeah. I'm bad at that. It, I go off yeah. on other shit, but he's like, right, hey, but let's it's come clearly back clearly a 2v1. It's clearly a 2v1 at this point. Like, Oh, yeah, for sure. Come on. Uh, uh, anyway. Um, d- oh, so then the, the, addre- the address gets about the uh, – or the uh, Flat Earth Dave. Oh. That, that, oh, that, that holds – yeah, that gets addressed, yes, nice. about the magnetic declination. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, we asked Flat Earth we, Dave about that too when he was on the podcast. Yes, remember? Yes, that was awesome. Yes, because it was just, uh, it, it just. We got to get him back, by the way. Now that we're showing our faces, yeah. it'll be so much better. Good point. I yeah, think he'll sure. jump right on that too. I'm hey, get, he just I'm followed me last week. No, oh, nice. He doesn't even follow yeah. me, bro. I'm gonna. Ah, oh, damn! You got to clip up his shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh, where am I going, Bill? One hundred five. One hundred five. And then redone and showed the same unexpected result, and then done again and shown the same unexpected results. That's the actual truth. There isn't a legitimate consensus answer from your paradigm. Doesn't matter. When it, you want to keep talking about the stars, you said look different directions. Just like when Dave Weiss was talking to you, he tried to tell you magnetic declinations a thing, and you called that jargon and said that that wasn't a real thing. You're just yes. making up words. I didn't say he made it up. I just said he's yes, saying he magnetism did. for no reason because it's nothing to do with what I was talking about. How is magnetic mag- declination going to allow you to see the same thing by looking in different directions? Explain. You okay. go ahead. Go ahead and you have to do man okay. what Weiss said. We're going to see that you didn't follow him then either, and that is that you're talking about directions. You're invoking cardinal directions. Mm -hmm. How do you determine your directions? So if you're going to use a compass, according to your paradigm, when you get to the south, the magnetic declination gets way worse. Why do I need a compass? Can I use geographical phenomena? Can I point in a particular geographical direction by known landmarks? Don't we know on a map? How did you know? How do you know the exact? First of all, when you're looking at the stars all the way to the Southern Cross, what known landmarks are you going to use? Whoa. Anything on the tips of those continents. What are you talking about? You're standing at the tip of a Southern continent. Look, I'll give you, let's say you're off by a degree or two. Okay, fine. We're looking a little bit this way, a little bit that way. On the graphic that I showed you, they're looking in completely different directions, all seeing the Southern Cross at the same time. It doesn't make sense. You can't. First of all, it's not a degree or two, Dave. It is dozens and dozens of degrees. If you go far enough south, it is actually 179 degrees at one point. How far south? Very near the magnetic pole? Yeah, in your in your paradigm, which your your magnetic poles in the ocean. But the point is yeah. that the point is, dude, if you're gonna say I'm looking south for sure, you're relying on magnetic declination corrections. Okay, but that's no. the point Dave was making. You hand wave dismissed it. It's just I, a I fact. Can, I can go is- outside of my house and and look north without looking at a compass mm-hmm. because I know which way north is on a map. <laughs> Do you use a compass every day to orient yourself? What happens? You just to the know stars? which way the cardinal's directions are. See. Yeah, but yeah. In, in the north we have a Polaris to go off of, right? No, 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 and we no, have no. like a, on a map, on a street, walking around on, the street. I you've know, got a I'm, grid of streets. You know which way is north. Do you need a compass to oh do that? My God. Well, actually, if you use North the South compass, Polaris. it will show you different directions over that. time. I'm asking. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, That's, I just wanted to frick fracking ridiculous, man. Yeah, dude. You see how he did that? Yeah, they're he'd been doing it the entire time. Very good. Yeah. Deflecting. Yep. Get You're not there. Out. Let me let me bring you down this path. Oh, so you're telling me that you, you can't stand outside and know east from west now? North from yeah. south? It's like uh uh-huh. right? that's not what we're How talking did we get about. there? Just like they're like, Oh, I, I uh they went around the, the world and came back to the same place. How does that how does that work on a flat surface? Uh dude, there's so much you crazy shit. With, what there's so much crazy <laughs> shit with uh boats close to Antarctica. Like every like the the speeds for races and yeah, stuff that the they hold down races. there is like yeah, the it's top all speeds it's are all like wacky. six miles an hour, where in the north they're like twenty something miles an hour. It's that much of a discrepancy over the time and how far they go. It's absolutely ridiculous, man. It's and they just ignore it. They're just like, well, well you no, know, he's uh, he's a liar. He's he's a straight up liar, dude. Oh yeah. I, I think I think this dude is exactly what we get accused of being. This dude's mm-hmm. not a globe earther. <laughs> he just knows how to <laughs> fucking yeah. just chill. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I I agree. You, you can't to, hey. like if he knows this much about it, like well, he see he doesn't even really know that much about it, but he knows how to deflect right. The stuff he doesn't know about, he knows exactly how to get around it. 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And steer it to where he looks like the smart one. The other one looks like the idiot. That's his whole thing. You know what I mean? Uh, 115. We get into gravity because you know I had to get there. The big G. This is good. Dave starts to trigger after <laughs> uh, oh, and uh, this starts off. Austin just cooks him. By the way, he's doing a whole egg breakfast, bacon the whole night. He's just <laughs> the grand just slam breakfast. right on the griddle, and and he cooks him, and and it just triggers triggers. Look at that face. Look at that face. Welcome to Denny's, motherfucker. <laughs> Started drifting, if that's what you want to claim. I mean, I, I, I actually looked at the weather data. It seemed like there wasn't much wind. I'm pointing out that your claim that he was just following the earth is patently false. He fell like 40 miles in the wrong direction. Okay, well, on a that is a curvature of earth. Straight up and straight down. So actually, talking talk about the Red Bull jump. I don't know what you're yeah, floating you about here. Talk. talking about the Red Bull jump. I know. It's a flat earth going video. straight up and straight that. down. Why would, there, why would there be any discrepancy in where he lands if it was a flat earth? Okay, it wouldn't obliterate my position. We can both agree now. It has something to do with wind, and your claim that he was just following with the earth is ridiculous and stupid yeah, and like not true. Ridiculous and stupid. That's obscene. But I think much more importantly, what, claim, you absolutely, what you absolutely <laughs> can't uh, explain is why that guy fell down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Here my God. Yeah. Oh, the gravity. <laughs> gravity. Let's do <laughs> gravity. the gravity. gravity. Yeah, Let's yeah. talk about Dude, it. Let's, pause uh, it. Yeah, because he, cause he, <laughs> cause he has – I just want to – I just I ask them this all the time. They say, "Why do we fall, or why don't we just float off into space? What is gonna make you float off into space? Please tell me what is gonna make you lift up off the ground. What? <laughs> what is it? What's gonna do it? You're fucking standing. You're gonna be mm -hmm. down." Like, I don't get it. Right. Why aren't we just sucked off into space? Oh, now, now gravity's not a container, right? Mm -hmm. It's just, it's ridiculous. Uh -huh. No, it's, 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 it's per whatever situation they're talking about. And they can invoke it or they can not invoke it. We, we all know this by now. I know. It, I, I got to make like a, take an amp and make something that says like, this much gravity. More gravity. This, oh, this, hell, this, yeah. this much yeah. refraction. A gravity, a gravity yes. dial. So, yes. This much dark matter and this much dark energy. Boom. That's gold. Uh, That's gold right it's there. Coming up. It's Boom. It's good. Let's do it. All right. He has weights. When he's more dense in the air and he went what down. What is weight? It, it is mass times gravity. Mass is volume times density times downward acceleration. Gravity is little g, which is just downward acceleration, 9.8 yeah, meters per second square, which Earth. you falsely claim that we can't derive, but you can do that with a kinematic equation, strictly a kinematic <laughs> equation. Get me yes, 9.81 meters per second squared without using the mass of the Earth. Literally, you can do it with a kinematic equation. It's Literally, also been done I with elect see it. Where is yeah, it? Yeah, initial height, velocity, and time will give you the same exact 9.8 meters per second value. That's just the effect. Did you know that 9.8 meters per second scare is just the effect? It isn't even like the claimed cause. What do you mean the claimed so, cause? It's, it's, a, it's a value. It's an acceleration due to the mass of the Earth. That's why G changes right. with radius, with That's elevation insane. on different celestial yeah. bodies. That's why G is different on the moon. It's different on Mars. You think that's all fake, of course. But yeah, uh, he, yeah. He, so, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't but, understand uh, how very, it's wrong. Very simply, you cannot explain why things fall down. You just can't do it. I, I can. I, I, no, yeah, can't. Everything, it, it's, more, it's more dense than the air. And so the question would be, so, why uh, is there up? And, why does it go down? Why is, the, why is the it down? That's your question. Less dense yeah. too. The air above it is less dense. It should fall up. Why is it what? What? Yeah. The oh, air above you're an more dense than the air. It doesn't matter if the air above you is less dense than the air well, why below. Why does it go it down? Is... This air is less dense. In fact, this air is even less dense than this air. Why does it go down? Okay, up? why would why would that mean it goes down? What do you mean why that mean? Because the mass of the earth, the mass of the earth is the thing's fault. The reason you that things fall down. Dude, oh, dude, God, the, dude, no, dude, I let dude. helium. Why hey, why does helium rise? Oh because it's less dense than air. There you go. Oh, and so it's less dense in the other air. Okay. Gravity pulls the air okay. down more than the helium. That's the what you think. Gravity the pulls the air You're just reifying your belief. And this reify, is what's even reify, funnier. Reify, reify. Well, how is it reification? I'm not doing anything abstract and turning it Yeah, to because concrete. you have a concept. You have a concept of gravity in your mind, and you're attributing concreteness to it and just assuming it's true by treating the concept as if it's actual. Anything because I know that it's exclusively an effect based on mass and not electromagnetism as you pretend. You mm -hmm. absolutely can cannot use electromagnetism no. to explain anything that gravity explains. I've never that. said electromagnetism. There's a downward electric current on the Earth. This is actually another falsification is of the... Are, we're not part of this. He doesn't know the difference between 
<laughs> electrostatic and electromagnetism. And which no, he that's doesn't. very sad. Yeah. But. And you see how he did that though, right? How he instantly led him away from the conversation because he's getting cooked. Yeah. Now what? Oh, he's getting... <laughs> Same thing? What do you mean not electromagnetism? We, we, we have a vertical electric field on the Earth, and it has a 100 volt per meter increase. It's mm -hmm. equipotential increase. It's a vertical it electric with, field. Just... It's a vertical electric field, and it's uniform. And so we have 100 volt, volts per meter. It's now, that's uniform. impossible. It's that's uniform. impossible. Won't it's not it, it, does it increase 100 volts per meter? No, it yeah. dissipates with elevation, which no, is why Felix not. can't be falling down due oh, to electromagnetism. Wait, does the does it increase a hundred volts per meter for like a hundred meters? <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> no. Okay, yeah. miles. okay, look, even if you, whatever so you say, like, why yeah. doesn't anything fall up, Austin? Why doesn't anything fall up? They're not I, 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 both attractive and repulsive, right? So some things are attracted to the earth. Why isn't anything repelled to, from the earth? Why doesn't it fall uh, up to the other Gaussian surface or whatever you want to talk about? Why yeah, well, okay. So, so first of all, so radial distribution of a sphere would not allow you to have equipotential parallel surfaces that are 100 why volts are per meter. Why, why does no, no I'm finishing my point. Then I'm wait, 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 I'm just the audience here the conclusion of the point. Let him answer. Let him answer. Let him answer. So, yeah. so that's the conclusion of the point that they previously avoided, which is that radial distribution of a sphere could not replicate what we have on the Earth. But you said, why don't things go up? You mentioned my middle school experiment or whatever you called it, mm -hmm. right? Where I actually made something lift and i did it? it with i i did it with iron filings i did it with multiple different materials even insulators so you said that doesn't count and i can't make big well, I, objects yeah i can't well, I make can't big okay hey, did look, you know that physics the, the bigger an object is the more charged particles there are in it right so the effect should be greater why can't you do it with a rock or a person why don't we see anything fall up ever because you would have to increase the yeah, amount of, say, right. electrostatics you introduce proportionate right. to its weight, which is, right. again, mass, Scale. which is volume times yeah. density relative to the pressure mediation aren't, of that. Y'all yeah. remember Y'all remember that clip uh, of that wrench flying straight up into the air, right? Uh, the Hutchison mm -hmm. effect. Hutchison. Yeah, I think, it, I think there was a... Was it a bowling ball or was it a was there it just was a like a big ball. rock? It, it, like there was a bowling ball for sure, hundred percent. I watched it like twenty times, man. Because yeah, dude, I it's was fucking wild. Looking for stuff that was off, I was looking, but then I saw which I, I don't know. trust it's the government. Crazy. But I saw the government dude who left the government saying shit. Yeah, they hit it. We knew back then we could do it. Blah 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 blah. Like right. fusing different metals together. But the the problem was with him, it was unpredictable. He couldn't yeah. say what it was going to do. He turned it on, and it did something. Like, and then, like, shit in his yeah. house just starts moving. Yeah, exactly. And, and it didn't help. And he started wearing high heels. Like yeah. 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 And now uh, he's, he's out of his mind. He, like, wore high right, yeah, heels and dress, wears dresses. Still looks like a total dude, but just like, uh, cross dresses. Well, I don't know. It's real weird. But yeah. if you're around that stuff all the time, you might mess up your head. Uh, yeah, yeah, something's yeah. fine. Something's got to yeah. be fraud, and that's all I'm saying. Uh, okay, you could go. You could. I mean, they they just go down the shit path. You could go to one nineteen. <laughs> the shit one nineteen. Uh, we get a yum yum yum. I just want to <laughs> point that out. That, that was great. Another pro. Uh, yep. Uh, dressing prop with a yum yum yum. Go ahead. One nineteen. Roll it. We down. just passed one nineteen. Let's oh. see. Austin, why doesn't anything fall up? Electromagnetism I mean, I, is both attractive and repulsive, right? So some things are attracted to the Earth. Why isn't anything repelled to, from the Earth? Why doesn't it fall up to the other like Gaussian helium? surface or whatever you want to talk about? Nitrogen. Why yeah, well, okay. So, so, so first of all, so radial distribution of a sphere would not allow you to have equipotential parallel surfaces that are 100 why volts are per meter. My, why, why does no, no I'm finishing my point. Then wait, I'm, wait, I'm, wait, I'm, wait, I'm just letting the audience hear the wait, conclusion wait, of the point. Let him answer. Let him answer. Let him answer. So, yeah. so that's the conclusion of the eyes. point that they previously avoided, which is that radial distribution of a sphere could not replicate what we have on the Earth. But you said, why don't things go up? You mentioned my middle school experiment or whatever you called it, mm -hmm. right, where I actually made something – lift and i did it with i i did it with iron filings i did it with multiple different materials even insulators so you said that doesn't count and i can't make big well, I, objects yeah I can't well, I make can't big ob okay hey, did look, you know that physics the, the, the bigger an object is the more <laughs> charged particles there are in it right so the effect should be greater why can't you do it with a rock or a person why don't we see anything fall up ever 
because you would have to increase the amount of, say, electrostatics you introduce proportionate right. to its weight, which is, again, mass, which is volume times density relative to the pressure mediation aren't, of the aren't. atmos. Wait, wait, wait. I, my question mm, is, yum, does, yum, 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 oh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Dude, what did I say that was words out? All of it. You're just saying all words. Of it. I'm all asking of it. you. You're just don't saying fall. words. In, <laughs> in a field, char particles of opposite charges are accelerated in opposite directions, right? Hey, stop. So why can't you? Bro. You know damn well that range bottle was full of semen. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. Semen and cilantro. Yum, yum, yum. There was a little. Yum, yum, yum. A little specks in there. Unless he has an issue. <laughs> What a punk. What a punk. He's just oh, cooking. And he's cooking, and the dude just comes in and swipes the damn griddle right off the stove. Uh oh, uh oh, I don't understand a damn word you just yeah. said. Damn. That's crazy, oh. bro. Okay, 122. Dave says he sounds dumb for using a big word. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, God, I so love good. this shit, man. This is so great. <laughs> Sorry, we're riding on your coattails, Austin. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Once this again, what I just said, a very massive object, a lot of matter, has more charged particles. In my body, there are many, many more charged particles oh, than a tiny piece of styrofoam. What so about sure. be greater? Can't we accelerate up? Can't we levitate? Can't we fly? Why not? I just have a simple about... question. You won't let me get it out because you know you won't let me answer it. I just answered on. it. Ask yep. the question then. Ask a question. Okay. I try, I try, I've tried like three times. Okay. It's yeah. simple. You're saying that doesn't count because I can't do it with bigger objects. Yeah. Do you know that physics scales? Yeah, so a larger object, more charged particles, the effect should be greater. Why doesn't it? So you you agree up? though that if I do the same principle on a bigger scale, if I increase the force proportionate to the object, I would be able to make things go up. And yeah, your claim that you can't do it with bigger objects is completely ridiculous. So you would be countering gravity. You would be countering gravity. I'm acting. Just reifying gravity here. again. Yep. You're stop saying reification. Do you have any idea how dumb you sound when you say well, reification? Uh, yeah, come on, now, come on. Okay, you're just asking the question over and over, dude. You're just saying, I promise. Listen, we're bringing it home. You yeah. can only do this with a Van der Graaff generator that, because you're wanted to point that one out real body, quick. 126. Mm -hmm. 126. 126 to 127. I need 10 minutes when we're done. But let's get okay. Yeah. Right here. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Yeah, we're gonna go quick because I know we're, we're gonna wrap it up I'm, soon. Uh, I am having a blast. No, I oh, love by the way, this, yeah, yeah, we got a few more. Uh, 126 Austin low key bodies day. Right saying, here. I don't want it's you over. Bitches, I don't want you bitches dipping out after you do this. I need 10 minutes. Yeah. So once you finish this, I need 10 minutes. Oh, bro. okay. Um, you're yeah. a bitch. That's what I was oh, saying. right here. I, I'm pretty sure it was over. I think everybody agreed that he got body right here. Oh, yes, yeah, Shit this. is the bending of light which means that a silhouette can't be refracted because it is oh, the yes. absence of light. Ooh. What? What? Can <laughs> a silhouette be refracted? You're, if you're seeing something, there's light traveling to your eyes. So sure, but, so but the mountain the the mountains should be below the curve of the earth, right? But we're seeing the silhouette once it gets backlit, which means you need a line of sight to the physical object blocking the light. I don't know, man. You're, yeah, so we you're, you're doing. Point. Oh, I see. I saw a thing. Therefore, everything we know about physics and science in general is wrong. It's just not going to fly. Go. Dave, sorry, okay. Dave, Dave concedes defeat. Over. You heard it here first. Okay. Great. The earth yeah, you got that right. 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 No, Dave, it's yep. so easy to go against flat earthers. Just dismiss all the the uncomfortable evidence no, and ask about. It's things. not uncomfortable evidence. You just make up bullshit. No. Like, like, just ask That's about random true. things that we were taught when we were five. Like, well, then how does this work? And like, whatever. I mean, I ask very simple things. Like, why, why does the, why does the night sky rotate in opposite directions in opposite hemispheres? You have yet to answer that. Definitely, you have answered yet to it directly. Uh, Never let him. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Repeat you that. If you look a different way, it'll rotate a different way. That's no, popular, I said first of all, it's, you have to verify coronal direction. Which, when we go to the south, we actually use immense magnetic declination corrections, which could be skewing where you think I'm you're saying, viewing. That's just a celestial pole. Just a fact. Looking at the celestial pole with your eye. Let him finish. Uh, just a fact. Yeah, and then, just, um, he's scalping. It's just anyway. word salad. He's just yeah. saying yeah. words. Real quick. Dude, yeah. How many yeah. times has he had to tell Austin to let him finish? Mm -hmm. Zero. Oh, dude, it's... Yeah. <sighs> I hope somebody we makes a, a chain video of him saying, let him finish, let him finish, let him finish. Mm -hmm. It'll be so good. But it's like <laughs> it's part of the script. It doesn't... Well, you know what I mean? Like, I there's know. no... It, it's it's, it's so smart, blatantly... 
No, oh, no, it's not at all. It's, <laughs> I'm just like, it's, so, it's so blatant, you know? Yeah. It's... Dave's the star. Make the star look good. You know? It, whatever. Uh, I'll, I'm, I digress. <laughs> Dave, back to the salad at 129. <laughs> back to the salad, son. But he goes into detail what a salad is just in case you don't oh, know. No. Uh, yes. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely stopped watching before this shit. I was oh, out, bro. Like I said it was it was at this point he was bodied and it was co- kind of going downhill after that. So map the stars. We have a zenith position, an azimuth position, and we measure elevation angles. When you do that 360, it gives you a dome. That's how we view the sky. NASA themselves have articles talking about how we see the sky to be a dome. We have an equidistant limit of vision. It's like a little dome. If you were to replicate that with a bunch of spinning stars and you looked out towards the edge of this dome, it's going to make them look like they're converging and spinning around the central <laughs> point, even though they're literally not doing that. We have replicated how it. Does- Therefore, the we the would expect hemisphere. we would expect to see it just like crepuscular <laughs> and anti-crepuscular rays when the sun's setting in the west. It'll look like it's in the east at the same time, and the rays will converge to a point, even though it's just based on perspective. Okay. That is an a, objectively a viable answer for the star trials. Not a viable answer. You're just saying words like crepuscular and perspective to appease flat earthers who have no idea what you're talking about because you cannot answer how oh. things rotate counterclockwise in, in one hemisphere and clockwise in the because other. You know what anti crepuscular rays are? Explained perfectly no. by this. He doesn't. No. Turns you know what anti crepuscular rays are? <laughs> Tell me what they are. Go ahead. So you call it word salad, but it's just that you don't understand the terms. It doesn't okay, matter, so- but you're just taking a. It's a jumble of words it's not that each word doesn't mean something it's not just literal gibberish and syllables you're taking words that are words and putting them together to make a salad like your lettuce and your croutons and your things like that that's why i tell you of yum yum word salad yep, you yep, cannot yep. explain <laughs> what is vi- can you concede that Spiraling, this makes perfect bro. sense visually yep. intuitively yep. Just spatially, can you at least concede that this makes more did. sense than what you're saying? No, no, no. I mean, I will say that if the, it is exactly south, yeah, of course, that's what the globe predicts. But we made the globe model. You're admitting for- that the globe Earth explanation for On the way we see stars moving in the sky makes more sense. No. The host Where? covers for Dave using word salad by reading a chat question and basically answering it himself. This is this is this was like the definitive moment. I'm like, oh, he's so he's Team Dave all the way. Oh, where I can't uh, see. It. I, I'm trying in, to. I'll try. I will read. So oh, what? he's gonna read it. Okay, I it. thought you meant in right. the comments. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, he's gonna read it, and he answers it himself rather than letting anybody oh, else. Oh yeah, and then huh. and then Austin just just fights back on his last little swing thing here. Yeah. Go ahead. Read them all after I let these gentlemen get on with their Saturday nights. But I wanted to pick some that I thought. Can we do? Can we do like a like a, a six second closing or something at some point? Absolutely. I'll do a two minute, and then because. Well, you guys, uh, should we coin flip for who goes last? It's like a criminal trial, right? So oh my God. generally the prosecution goes last. Um, but I'll just no, say... I'm indifferent. Okay. Well, yeah, then we'll don't let matter, Dave no. go first. Um, someone says, make Dave define one thing in detail that Austin has said is word sell. Well, he did that. I think he did do that. Um, oh, wow. it's, it's not that he's oh, using yeah. words that aren't real. It's that he's stringing together words in a way that isn't saying anything. So give an example. Scientific terminology. So he's retarded also. Wait, how does he respond yeah. to give him a, give an example? Oh, gee. I can't give remember if he didn't say anything, so it doesn't really stick. Yeah. There you go. Right? Oh, yeah. The definition started- of word salad is incoherent rambling, yeah. typically associated with schizophrenia. So if I was saying, yo, chicken, yesterday, sunset, it. That okay, whatever, dude. The fact you didn't understand the terms like anti-crepuscular rays and anisotropic mm-hmm. and magnetic declination doesn't make it word salad. It means you I need know. to go inform yourself what the words mean. I'm yes. saying that those words don't pertain to any kind of explanation for what I was talking about. Magnetic yes. declination isn't going to explain away looking at an object in the sky, seeing that it rotates yes, a particular direction, is. going to the other hemisphere, and seeing that are. it rotates in the other direction. Now you're, you're, okay, you're trying to rebut my argument. <laughs> You're trying to rebut my argument, but that doesn't you mean to do that. Don't words. just dismiss the argument as word salad. It's the it's basically vocalizing inept vocabulary skills and bragging uh, about it. It's no, super weird. It's acknowledge. It's pointing Told out you that you use now. a bunch of terminology, rapid Probably. fire, to make it sound like you know what you're talking about to trick people into thinking that you know what you're talking about. Somebody, somebody, said, that is you. somebody <laughs> said this. Yeah, I have a challenge exactly. for both Dave and Austin. That is it. Anyway, all right. Last one, one thirty nine, and then obviously they do their little end things. But this was the Dan Hand waves. If you want to see their end things, go watch it. But what's more, go watch it. Yeah. 
Go check it out. Dave hand waves and claims word salad again. Yeah, of course. Because he doesn't understand big words and basically spirals right here. Yeah. And then they feel in a different way. I love spiraling. Actually, it's a drop drop tower test that was done in Europe at, uh, I believe, a university. And they show different elements falling at different rates. And so... This is the truth, though, that the electric field that creates a downward electric current of 10 micro microamps per meter. So it's very small and it's very nearly constant. So we don't expect the downward pressure to change much. That's a real verifiable part of physics. I can go out and measure it and manipulate it and make things float. Can you prove that space time is bending and warping? No, of course not. You, you said. can just assume. No, you absolutely can. Relativity is very well corroborated, but you <laughs> no, have, not, you have absolutely no, zero ability, right? <laughs> uh, 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 opposite charges accelerate in opposite directions in an electric field, right? So why, again, does nothing fall up? Okay, because when the object is more dense, density is the compactness of matter. So what holds the matter together? It's electrostatic charges that gives it a compactness. Literally, all molecular and intermolecular attractive forces are electrostatic in nature. And if you call that word salad, that's Let's insane tier, because that's just a direct quote. Tier. No, it is word salad because you're not answering the question. You're it's just a direct using quote from word Purdue word. University, oh. dude. It's <laughs> all word salad. I just quoted Purdue verbatim. So this is the problem with listening yes. to people like this guy. They're just going to dismiss it as word salad. You can't have an intellectually honest conversation. You're just the point is that it's just random. It's just random words. You just said density. I'm right, asking bro. you why nothing falls up and you answered density air is less air dense here dense. air is less <laughs> dense here in fact this air is less dense than this air because it gets it becomes so, less dense it's elevation. why does it fall down why does it it's still less fall dense down? in the why object in all scenarios dave do you not know that even in a vacuum it's still more dense than the environment or the medium right it doesn't right. matter if it's a little bit less and dense in a vacuum, the object's it still falls more down dense. because the mass of the earth is below it <laughs> so why doesn't anything accelerate oh my upwards God, that was why doesn't anything fly earth. to the other gaussian surface why isn't anything repelled by the earth because there's a downward electric it's current electromagnetism there's why a downward electric no the current why what about a lightning strike because you can't manipulate the entire earth when the right? lightning strikes does something there suddenly fly oh, up yes. to the cloud People There's a reversal of polarity yeah. there. Why okay. is it that you can't get anything to fall up? Okay, you cannot flip the entire electric field of the Earth. Now, it's important to be analogous. To right there, right under the lightning bolt. Something can fly up. No? All right, here's what I'm going to do. Oh. I know that it's late. Yeah, I'm anyway. Both. First of all. Uh, and then they do their thing. So everybody <laughs> needs to go and watch that if you have not yet. Um, it's 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 great. Yeah, it, it, at times you get you get angry a little bit and you get frustrated. And that dude right there, I don't think he should ever do a debate ever, ever again. Just saying um, you had the opportunity to have the best, the most anticipated, I should say. Yeah. Debate of this year. Yeah. And not the you best because Professor right. not Professor yeah, not Dave doesn't know, know shit. No, most but, anticipated. Yeah. Probably most entertaining yes. one, or anticipated to be entertaining. Well, I yes. should say. No, you nailed it there. But yeah, yeah, he he really fucked it up, man. No, he did on multiple times. He dropped the ball big time. Like, just shut up, dude. Because like, and I told him in the comments, don't get emotional. <laughs> he got emotional. Yep, and he yeah, he and listen. he just no, nope. he, he just he didn't seem ready. He did. He really didn't seem ready. No, he did, he didn't know what he was getting yeah. into. None of these motherfuckers know what they're getting into with Austin. Yeah, you right. know. They, they, they're like, yeah, I'll debate some retard flat earther. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're like, well, uh, what? What are you saying? Uh, anyhow. Hey, what do what you got for us, big dog? Big Ted? Oh, hold up. Let me get this out of here. Okay. So <clears throat> did you guys hear how NASA accidentally put out a distress thing on their YouTube yes. channel? Yes. Yes. So did you hear it, though? No, I heard about oh, it. I, didn't I hear have it. the whole thing right here. What? Oh, yeah. fuck oh, yeah. You yeah. ready? Yes. Oh, please. Please. Five minutes out. Okay. Yes. So then, uh, thank you for clarification. So, if we could get a, a commander in, back in. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Five minutes out. Okay. Yes. So then, uh, thank you for clarification. So, if we could get a, a commander in, back in his suit, um, get it sealed, and uh, fault step into procedure five decimal one eight zero for suited hyperbaric treatment section three for oxygen post splashdown, that would be my recommendation. I'll copy. Splashdown. <laughs> oh. 
oh, there's way more. They're just covering it up with all this. Oh, you think there's more There's more audio that's cut? Copy. No, um, understand no. that this is a best effort treatment, and so whatever you can do is going to be better than doing nothing. Um, and just as an FYI, prior to sealing, um, closing the visor and pressurizing the suit, I would like you to check uh, his pulse uh, one more time. How copy? What military operator uses FYI yeah. ever. <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? I, know. I don't ever want to hear that shit ever again. Oh, there's, right? there's more, it's man. Mistakes. It keeps going. Mistakes. For some reason, we can't hear the audio from that's coming back. Right, the other ever, opposite ever, end. But... Correct. It's because yes. of dude um, just screaming. Be, um, actually, sis, you're on this call. How much oxygen do we have remaining in minutes? I should have cropped it before. Sorry, but. So, yes, then I would like Perfect. you to have 100% O2 flowing via mask while you get the suit on. Prior via, to closing the mask? visor and pressurizing, yes. I'd like you to do a pulse check one more time and then step it's into 5.180, uh, section 3. Pulse check? Just keep the mask and keep listening. It's, it's, it's excellent. So we, I wish we could hear the other side of this fucking transmission. You just got to use your imagination, dude. Um. <laughs> so this is just an exercise, by the way, is right? That's what they're saying. Is there a way that oh, the mask no, can be attached? The mask. So is there a way that we could get the suit over the head, have the visor open, and put the mask at least close to his face while you finish sealing up the suit, or is that not feasible? Yeah, dude. What? What? Yeah. They, this is so cool. They claim it, Copy. it was an Copy. Act. Well, I, I think at this point, because the uh, the... Hypobaric exposure is, is the big problem, and given his exam, I am concerned that there are some severe DCS hits, and so I would uh, I, I would recommend trying to get him in the suit as soon as possible and giving oxygen as, as best as able during that process, but the, the best thing would be to get him in the suit at ASAP. This sounds like someone... Who has drowned? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the Benz. The Benz. Yeah. Yep. They got the Benz. And sis, uh, we are okay to um, deprivatize at this time. Just as a FYI for you, I am still about one hour um, out from MCCX. Just as an FYI, this is out. crazy to me, dude. Yeah. One hour out from where? Whatever she said. MCCX, like like a hospital, medical something. How are they getting him to the hospital if he's up there? I don't know, but that's it. That's it. That's, that's all it. We get, and they claimed that it was an accidental transmission of a a, a what the hell? A, Training exercise. Yeah, a drill. That's the word. A drill. A drill. Oh, a drill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounded like a drill. Yeah, just like the drills right. on 11 Yep. Mm -hmm. What? So yeah, and In the uh, NASA immediately put out a post on Twitter saying it was accidentally a drill played. There's no one hurt. Blah blah blah. Everything's fine. So yeah. dude, I love their their super simple explanations that everybody's just like, ah, it's a drill. <laughs> All right, you know, it, it's they totally said it was cool. a drill. They're not doing anything shady to get you know billions of dollars from us. Yeah, when we I... go back to that point where the dude had the bends. Yeah. <laughs> Besides that, I think they accidentally <laughs> slipped it out to get attention because people are losing attention from NASA. It's getting ridiculous. You think so? You think <laughs> yeah, so? I know. Well, well we yeah, dude. Cool. I mean, they have to shut their fucking comment section down I on know. everything they post. They do. They do. I, I, I mean, that means engagement goes down. It does. That's not good for numbers. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I don't know, man. That new that new rainbow NASA flag, though. I, I think that's got a real, oh, yeah, you know what I mean, a real catchy. Uh, yeah, it's my all time good marketing. Favorite. Oh yeah, it's a heater. 
It's <laughs> badass. It's, it's a real heater, yeah. <laughs> Well, on that note, (laughs) death (laughs) faded out. Faded out. All right, man. Hell yeah, dude. It was awesome. This was fun. I'm glad we went over that debate. There's so much more. Please go watch the debate. Yep, you have to do it. We'll have uh, we'll we'll put the link on it. We're up for it or whatever from our link. Yep, and stay tuned next week. Hopefully, uh, FTFE doesn't pussy out, and that will be our next episode. That should be awesome. Yeah. We're going to be live, right? Yeah, we're going to see that one live on Twitter. Look out for it Sunday at, I don't know. We'll we'll post the time. I forget the time, but next Sunday. Be there. Hell yeah. All right, gentlemen. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Father's Day, y'all out there. It'll be a day late, but yes, happy Father's Day. Yes. Love y'all. See y'all. See you later. Love you guys. Later. Peace.